What's going on, guys? The uh, video quality's pretty bad, I think, because the it's crazy wind out here today. Freedom Foods Farm. What's going on, guys? Do I train the bison? Uh, yeah, I train them to uh, the feed to come come to the feed. What's going on, Georgia Hill Hillbilly? How are you? I apologize for the uh, audio cutting out a little bit. The stream is really rough today. It's really, really windy. What's it like raising bison? Uh, really, really fun. Really awesome animals to have around. Ontario. Hi Kathleen. You are our neighbor. I think it's uh, Isa from San Francisco. That's awesome. Hopefully I said that right. everybody is doing good wanted to do a uh, quick live today to uh, kind of get everybody up to date and allow you guys to shoot me any questions that you want to so anything uh, it's on your and I apologize for the cutting in and out. It's pretty windy out here today. Um, how many do we have right now? We have uh, six animals. So the animal right kind of in the middle, what you're looking at right now, that's our bull. And then he has uh, five females around him. They are all uh, yearlings, so they're pretty young. They're a little smaller than what you would normally, uh, I guess, imagine because they're younger. That's cool, you like watching Dunbar? Yeah, he's a, he's a fun animal. The uh, first time I interviewed Dusty, we went out with uh, his ATV out in his field and Dunbar came up and put his face in my lap and it's, it's pretty intimidating, honestly. He's such a big animal, he's so gentle. The uh, electric fence is, is going good. Um, we've been really, really busy. Unfortunately, we haven't had enough time to do what I really want to uh, this summer. So we've got a lot of projects um, this fall and winter. Evening from Michigan, very cool. Uh, is it legal to export bison to Europe? I don't know the laws on that. Um, I know that there are some bison in Europe, so, um, Somehow they're getting around it. I don't know what they would require though. What's going on Arrowhead Bison? It is a windy, windy day out today. Fall has definitely set in. Uh, 
Uh, can you tell us how you raise the bison? Um, it's very, very similar to cattle, but I would say it's about 80% hands off. So these guys are really um, self-sufficient. There's not a whole lot you need to do with them except for uh, once or twice a year corralling them. So make sure they've got good feed and water and good fencing. Um, really a lot of, a lot of just maintenance around the farm is what you're really doing. So hopefully you guys can see the picture quality okay. Uh, for everybody that doesn't know, you have the bull right on the left side, that is walking coyote. And then right in the middle, that strong wind and red prairie on the right. And the other girls are kind of running around them. Thank you, appreciate it. Are they ever a different color, lighter, darker? Yes, absolutely. So the one right behind uh, Walking Coyote right now, she is our darkest animal. Um, she's called, we call her uh, Black Feather. You can get a little bit of picture of her right beside Walking Coyote right now. Yeah, we've got a fair amount of grass, um, a, lot of, a lot of weeds in this field. One of your friends is wanting to be, in, be uh, raising bison, that's cool. Yeah, I would uh, highly encourage it. Um, definitely want to do your research though. Don't want to jump in uh, prematurely or anything like that, but do your research and it's a whole lot of fun. Uh, when's our first snowfall expected to come? Um, it will probably be uh, typically in November, like the end of November, you can start seeing flurries um, and then into De December. Around here, we don't really get a whole lot of snow. Uh, I think our average snowfall in this part of Kansas is about 14 inches. So we don't really have a whole lot of snow. Uh, yeah, we've got, a, we've got enough hay. I got a friend of mine who, uh, does some hang and we bought some bales from him so we've got 15 bales and then if I fence off the front field then I'll have access to a lot more grass hi Deborah from West Virginia very cool that's pretty country out there absolutely you're welcome Hopefully everybody's having a good Sunday. It sure is windy out here today. Gotten some comments from you guys asking a lot of loads. We could but lot of different so wish we could do more but we're kind of doing the best we can with it hi Jen how you doing the video is not too laggy for you guys I think it's cutting in a little cutting in and out a little bit so I apologize about that don't have really good service out this way it's one of the reasons why we've
kind of done a lot less lot hard to do. That's awesome. Where are you? Jen, you fall. Bison's coat is they uh their winter coat is really thick. The grass is all uh browned out and cold weather is starting to kick in. It's probably in the 60s today. Thank you, Deborah. Appreciate that. Steve, Noah, did you watch Black Acre Ranch squeeze shoot video? Any dub updates on your shoot? Um, I think I've seen a couple clips of theirs. I hadn't watched the whole thing, no. Uh -uh. Um, I don't have a shoot right now, no. We are, uh, we'll be buying one at some point, but kind of taking my time on that. We've got some portable panels that I can work the animals if needed and uh, there's guys like um, uh, Gerald Parsons Doc Parsons who actually will come out he's a he's a bison veterinarian and he'll come out with his own squeeze shoot if you need so not not too much in a rush for the squeeze shoot I, I want to make sure I get a get one that I really like some of them I'm, I'm really not too keen on so kind of holding out for a little while to ask you guys some questions so like um, you following a YouTube channel like this that's kind of surrounded around Buffalo or bison um, what interests you about it is it something that you guys have seen seen bison before is it just something that's intriguing is it something that uh, you guys want to raise bison in the future um, shoot me uh, shoot me your answers I always kind of like to know um, what intrigues people about these animals. Uh, Steve, please do a video on the pros and cons of each. A good video. Um, it would be, it would be uh, pretty in depth. I'd have to go, go to quite a few different ranches for that, but maybe uh, down the road we can do that. Debra, is it better to bring new bison into the herd in fall and winter or spring and summer? So um, it really doesn't matter, at least my preference as far as bringing them into the herd, but typically the bison sales will happen in the fall. And the reason for that is, is bison go through a rut in July and August. Um, it can go into, into September a little bit, but typically it's July and August and then they will calve in the spring. So the way the timing works out, uh, those calves will be about six months old, or give or take, uh, in the fall, typically. So what happens is a lot of the sales um, go on in the fall. So usually a lot of the buying and the selling of bison happens in the fall, but I've, bought animals in the spring brought them in not a problem I bought, bought animals in the summer uh, brought them in and it's not a problem either their presence and stature yeah that's that's where I'm at with it they're just really cool animals just to sit down and watch hi Doris how you doing There's not many around there. You love to see them. 
yeah that's that's really cool too uh when i was a kid i didn't even think there was any around um i saw some in person when i was about 10 years old and then the next time i saw them in person was when i was like 22 years old and i didn't know there was any ranches around and come to find out they're all they're around they're just uh tucked away in the backwoods Steve, uh, you want to raise them starting next year? Could we hire you to guide us through the buying process? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Jen, they are in my mind part of our history. Also, like the different personalities and watching how you teach them. Very Thank you, appreciate it. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, they are majestic. Hi, Rebecca, how you doing? Susie, or Susan, I'm sorry, uh, got interested in bison because of the channel Dusty Baker. Sure found their history of interesting. Very cool, very sad, extinct. Yeah, um, I think Dusty's actually done a really good job of, uh, awareness to the animal there's a lot of people have been able to see kind of some of the behinds of the scenes from Dusty's channel so I applaud him for that well you're in Yellowstone lonely males wandering around and out in the car yeah that's uh that's kind of kind of do they during different parts of the year they they wander around into different packs and stuff deer kind of do that to a certain extent too that's cool you were raised on a farm Betty that's that's awesome I wish I was I Grew up in the city, but I'm very thankful that we're out here now. Yeah, they have, they really do have a history. Magnificent animals, yep. they. Definitely are. Uh, white feather is good, Doris. She uh, had a foot injury when I first brought her onto the ranch, and that's healed up really good. And uh, she's doing really well. See if I can, uh, I'll pan over to her one second. That's her right on the right. Rebecca, that would be great. That would be nice of you. Yeah, yeah, you definitely could uh, could do two or three for me. Um, you want a couple of them because they'll get, they're, they're a herd animal, so uh, I would say a minimum would be three on the, on a farm because they'll, they'll get lonely and um, they'll start pushing back on you, start trying to jump fences and stuff like that, so. That's cool, James. Raised on a farm, two farms in Minnesota. Heard it's beautiful country up there. How you doing, Jan? From Connecticut. Very cool, you wanna see the numbers increased. Me too. That's cool, you're in 4-H and FFA. Uh, those are really good programs. Oh, what colors? Surprise me. 
Sounds great. It's awesome. Um, Mike, why do some bison's horns curl in and some are straight? So it really has a lot of factors um, behind it. Some of it could be sex um, so uh, good video to watch one I put out on horns um, oh it's probably a month ago or so uh, but they uh, it kind of it really really depends the younger animals typically go farther out and then as they get older they kind of curl in Appreciate that, Doris. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rebecca. That's fun. Susan, yeah, you'd like to see, you're from Europe and you'd like to see bison, but you fear they're not in Europe. Uh, I know that there's one ranch in um, Ireland, but I'm not sure uh, if you can view them or not They're around they're just they're they're hard to find sometimes Sun is uh, coming out a little bit you're starting to see the blue sky behind the bison there <coughs> Excuse me Walking coyote right here. He's the he's the feed hog today, and then uh, strong wind right to his left. A lot of you guys ask how I can tell the difference of some of them. Um, so strong wind and red prairie, I believe they're sisters. And uh, red prairie, she's got a redder tint to her. Her head is. A little darker and strong wind is a little bit more blonde and their horn structure is a little different too body too but those are kind of some of the main indicators how you doing from Houston Texas very cool bet it's a lot warmer down there Hopefully everybody's having a good Sunday afternoon. It's a beautiful day out here. Very windy, but really pretty day today. How you doing, Katie? From Wales, very cool. Always surprises me how far away people uh, can connect different parts of the world. It's awesome. Uh, Susan, are they being registered for their DNA? Um, maybe down the road. Uh, not at this time. I haven't done any testing on them. We haven't run them through a corral or a squeeze chute yet. So I'll come to that decision whenever we work them next. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. These guys love the range cubes. Cool. It's gorgeous in Baltimore. Very cool. Uh, will you be getting into meat production? Um, I don't know. I'm not not at this time. Uh, I can't say that 
I will never get into it, but um, right now the business structure is, is what they call a calf cow operation. So we will be raising bison um, to basically grow our herd and then we will uh, be selling the calves as we are basically large enough to sell the excess. So I've got a lot of people that uh, get into the, the sale of the meat though. But not ours right now. I like the blue sky coming out. That's for sure. It's chilly in Connecticut. Appreciate that. Yeah, I, I love seeing the seeing the herd grow too. I uh, appreciate that, Kathy. Saw the uh, heifer we gave Dusty. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Good to see his uh, herd growing. Good to see his business doing well. He's he's really blown up. Um, he's got a lot of a lot of followers these days, which is awesome. It's cool to see the interest that everybody's got in bison. Uh, Rebecca didn't even know that there are two different kinds of bison until watching this channel. Yeah, there's uh, there's a few different kinds. So there's woods bison, um, typically in Canada, and plains bison here. Woods bison are a little taller, and plains bison are a little stockier. Uh, but there also is a uh, European bison too, and they they uh, they're a different species, but they look very similar. Uh, what do you what do you do with all your little bull halves? Not sure on your question. Um, maybe clarify that if you wouldn't mind. How are you? Hopefully everything's going good. Um, will I be buying more? And am I still giving them minerals? Yeah, we definitely will be buying more. Uh, and yes, they they have minerals out, and they uh, they eat those as they deem fit. We'll probably be getting some more um, in the spring. We were hoping to get some this fall, but you have to balance the funds that you have for you know things like fencing and corrals and hay costs and all that uh, with you know expanding the herd, buying buying more animals. So. I think we will probably be getting some more in the spring. Who knows? Might end up finding some and can't resist though. Oh, bull calves. Will I be selling my bull calves? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I will be. How you doing, Lizzie? Happy Sunday. Absolutely. There comes that sun. Bill, South Florida. Very cool. I love it in Florida. Got relatives down that way. Pretty part of the country. Uh, Georgia hillbilly. hillbilly, can farming, ranching channels make money on YouTube videos? 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, they're they're monetized. They're they're a form of uh, form of basically income for the ranch. Um, anytime you see a commercial running, um, you get a very small percentage of whatever that advertiser wants to pay. It's pretty small though, but so you got to have a lot of views in order to make it worth it. How long uh, does it take to start to see a profit from your investment? Uh, depends upon how you structure it, but um, basically when you start seeing calves, so you know these these guys are calves. Uh, were, were calves this spring when I bought them. They're yearlings now. They'll breed next year. Have calves the following. So you're kind of you know three four years in really from from calves from what you bought. Yeah, Georgia Hillbilly, yeah, our uh, channel is monetized. Anytime you see a commercial on a channel um, or on a video, the, uh, the videos are monetized. We, we make a little bit of money on the videos. It's, it's very minimal, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Oklahoma City. Very cool. Well guys, I think uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up there. Hopefully everybody has a good rest of your Sunday afternoon. Thank you for uh, joining us. Thank you for supporting the channel. Really appreciate everybody's support. And uh, it's uh, really great to have a community like you guys um, support our ranch. So thank you very, very much. Yeah, Susie, uh, Susan, when I grow our herd, we need to buy more, more land. Um, yep, absolutely. Uh, Georgia Hillbilly, anything we can help out with? I appreciate that. Um, yeah, just supporting our ranch, you know, passing the word on about the channel. Um, things like that really, really help uh, our merchandise on our website really helps our ranch too so thank you very much so thank you guys for joining us appreciate it have a good rest of your uh weekend and we will see you guys next time